Welcome to the channel Physics by IITNs. In this video, we will visualize waves interference diffraction. Since physics is visualizing things, understanding it deeply uh, by imagining and visualizing. So this video is going to be very important for you. And also don't forget to share this kind of animation videos to have a clear understanding about the topic. So we all have seen the pond okay so suppose water droplets are falling on the pond what will be the pattern or ripple of the pattern uh, how it will be responding look here this graph shows you whenever a droplet is falling on a pond or falling on a water the ripples is or the disturbance are like this way now suppose we are opening our tab and this time not one but both of them that is two are now interacting with each other now we all know what is this this is whenever one droplet is falling and there was no interference but whenever the two droplets are falling there is interference okay so what will be the ripple pattern now the ripple pattern has been changed the earlier and the present time both the two sources are not the same similarly suppose we are taking a laser light not a water but suppose we are taking a fresh wave sound wave okay now this is the ripple or this is the pattern of the ripple now we are taking the interference of two sound waves so the air molecules will pattern like this way okay now suppose we are going back and we are now experiment with laser light and this light is green light so how it will do its repetition or what will be the pattern it's like a wave because we all know that light is an electromagnetic wave now we are putting two slits or two laser light and look here these two are in interfering with each other so here we are getting interference pattern the similarly the waves uh, sorry the water droplets are interfering with each other the sound for the sound wave the air molecules are somehow disturbed and the light is also interfering with each other and the, for the slow motion you can see here how the ripples or how the pattern is formed on the screen okay so i can show you the screen also so this the pattern that is alternatively bright and dark fringes are forming on the screen similar like the water droplets okay so now suppose we are taking a slit and we are now water wave generator that is this water wave is going through the slit what will happen you get here for the one slit it is forming this pattern that is wave that are spherical waves earlier it is plane wave on the left side now it becomes spherical wave after passing through the slits suppose i am making two slits what will happen the two will interfere now i am making no barrier what will happen nothing will happen this wave or water wave will go as it was going earlier whenever you are making one slit there is distortion in the wave whenever you are making two slits there are also distortion in the wave but the two patterns are not same so it was for water now suppose we take sound generator what will happen it will similarly repeat the pattern for the one slit for the two slits it will interact with each other and somehow produce this pattern for no slit or no barrier it will go as it is suppose now we will do it for light so the light generator it is propagating a wave that is in a green region so this green light after passing through one slit it is forming this pattern earlier it was plane wave now it becomes spherical 
suppose we are taking two slates what will happen they are producing they are interfering with each other as well and suppose no barrier so it will go as it was there was no problem in going and there will be no change in the shape of the waves so whenever it is interacting the wave front shape is changed due to the interaction and also due to this barrier the wave length of wave shape wave front shape has been changed now this slit is going to play a role for the diffraction whenever there are two slits we are getting the interference now come to the diffraction suppose we are taking this small little hole and light is going to pass through this small screen small slit sorry not screen and this the right hand side it is shown as the screen so what will be the pattern this is a diffraction pattern okay suppose i am changing the slit the slit whenever you are changing the diffraction pattern will be also changed suppose you are making this slit wider what will happen the height is also wider what is happened look here the change in the pattern these are very important for your exam also because they can give you this kind of slits and they can ask you what will be the pattern similarly i am taking suppose this is for blue light i am just uh, uh, make the higher wavelength like red 693 so now i am changing the pattern two slits that is one with box another with circle what will be the diffraction pattern look here and the screen at the screen this is a mixture of the triang uh, the rectangle or the box and the circular suppose i am making the circle bigger then the circular aperture is going to dominate in the diffraction pattern or suppose i am going to make the box much much larger then the box is also box pattern is going to dominate also so suppose i am making this two size almost equal because this circle diameter is also 0.04 squared width is also 0.04 and this one is 0.10 mm and this one is also 0.10 mm so both are of the equal size then both the pattern that is the circular aperture and this box aperture both are playing the role suppose i am making this dots so what will be the pattern look here this is the combination of dots suppose you are making the dots much much bigger the dots are, now the screen will be much much lower suppose i am making this disordered what will happen disorder look here the pattern is distorted okay so whenever you are disordering the patterns are distorted whenever you are making the circle smaller the diffraction pattern is going to be much much prominent so diffraction pattern is a size whenever the size is small, much much smaller the space this size that is the aperture size the diffraction pattern becomes much much dominant so for due to the smaller size of the aperture the diffraction pattern will be much much be dominant suppose we are making this one this pattern that is a small girl okay what will be the diffraction pattern diffraction pattern like this way suppose we are making this small girl aperture bigger what will be the diffraction pattern look here suppose we are rotating this one this is a combination of all the different aperture sizes so we are getting this kind of screen pattern so we can also make the more, much more bigger much more bigger will give you smaller distortion and whenever it is much much lower this is totally a diffracted or distorted image so the size of the aperture is playing a role for the image resolution and it is also known that if the smaller the aperture the larger the diffraction okay there is a finite limit of the resolution due to this diffraction so for the sing have a circular aperture 
to rectangular aperture or if you just make a height and width are different that, that will be uh, a rectangular aperture and here the combination of a square and a circle here the combination of different circles you can see here that whenever the size of the aperture is greater the diffraction pattern is I mean it's not so much dominant but whenever you make it lower the diffraction diffraction pattern is going to be dominant so this is a very important lesson for you for all the students they should know and it is not only in the red lane red wave lane I can give you for the yellow let make it yellow look here for green look here I can make it for yellow also just I have to change the wavelength so here it is coming okay almost yellow is coming that is 581 nanometer and also let us go to the blue region also in the violet region so in every region of light that is from 380 nanometer to 780 nanometer it is producing the diffraction effect okay friends so this is a very important lesson for you to understand the diffraction effect the interference and the wave phenomena of light thank you